it's like cool cream. Yeah, it's straight up ice cream, but it's chopped up in a way that it looks like like some type of vegetable. You know? Some type of pineapple like something. Mm -hmm. But this. Mmm. Cold freeze. Oh! Cold. Brain freeze. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Pakistan in part with my friends at Manaki. Today I'm taking you to explore the city of Mardan. We're gonna go through the bazaar, we're gonna have some delicious kebabs, and we're also gonna visit an ancient Buddhist monastery over 3,000 years old. But right now we're stopping in a small town called Tarul Jaba to have some breakfast. It's like half an hour from Peshawar, basically midway point from Peshawar to Mardan. We're gonna have some eggs, some parata, and some lassi. Let's go inside. Assalamu alaikum. What are you doing? Parata. Yes. Right here we have the man making the paratas. These are oily, crispy paratas. He also has some eggs. And this gentleman over here is gonna make some lassi for us. Delicious lassi. I love it. Mm. And this one's a thick lassi. Is it more Punjabi style or is it like more liquidy. It's, it's a little bit liquidy. Okay. It looks like a Punjabi style. So if you wanna add the uh, sugar, then uh, it's up to you. Otherwise, it's normal. The best is uh, sugar. Okay. All right. So they're making the lassi for us. This one's a little thinner, not as thick as the one in Punjab. And they put my lie on top. I love how they make it, right? Traditional style. And then right here we have the guy with the chana, which is the chickpeas with some spices, lots of oil, and eggs. Oh, I can't wait. And they also have the halim, which is basically like a lentil stew with chicken. I had it in Karachi. Amazing, a Karachi halim. This looks good, but I think we're just gonna go with the lassi, parata, eggs, and maybe a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. I love the chana. Okay, the chana is the best. Halim. What is that? I just see it. It's called halwa. Halwa? Oh, it's halwa. It's halwa. Oh, I thought it was like brown sugar for a second. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm down to try everything, bro. I'm hungry. Sure. Loving this local restaurant. Look at this. So, guys, salam alaikum. Shukriya, shukriya. Here we go. Parata, kahalim. We have some chana. And right here, we have the halwa. So, first thing to do, right? Go in here. Grab some of this nice and crispy parata. Go into the chana. Grab some of that. Oh, I love it. Nice and oily. Mmm. 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 Oh, no. Mmm. So much flavor. I'm in love, man. What a great breakfast. I love these style of breakfast, you know? Random towns. Good food. Local. The best. We also need to get some chai. Chai chai? Yeah, for sure. Mmm. The parata is different everywhere, right? Sometimes it's in tandoor, sometimes it's fried. This is the way to do it. Mixing all this together. Mmm. It's so good. So much flavor. What an incredible breakfast. Don't worry, my man. I get dirty every time I eat. <laughs> Just like that. Break it up. Mm. Mm. What I love about the chana is the egg. Having that arbo egg. Mm. Not so spicy, it's nice and oily. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna go over here to the halim, right? So a lentil stew with chicken. Oh yeah, it's very pasty. Mmm. Oh, I love it. Mmm, with mint on top. That is a mint. Oh, nice and flavorful, huh? Herbal. Yeah, super tasty. God, I love Pakistan. Every single day I'll eat this. You have no idea. Combination. The halim also has some crispy onions. Mmm. And lastly, we have the halva. I don't know you can mix it, but. Mmm, super sweet, right? It's almost like a, it's almost like straight sugar here. Mmm, mmm, nice and sweet and savory mix. Oh yeah, this is so good. What a great breakfast, man. And once you're ready, drink some of the lassi. Mmm, oh, I love the on top. Nice malai, which is 
basically cream mixed with yogurt. Oh, so cold. Breakfast of champions. So grab this and this. Make it very sweet. I've never done this before, but I love it. Last thing I do is mix the halim with the halba. Mm. Oh man, extremely different flavors here. Between the sweetness, the mintiness, the nice chicken lentils. Wow, I'm blown away. No, I'm good, I'm good. We had no idea where to go in this place. We just looked for a good shop that had everything we're looking for, right? Plata, Chana, and some eggs. Hey. Cheers, Cheers. my friend. Cheers. Yeah, you have to get the stash, right? Get all that malai in the stash. Mm. Got milk. And last thing I have to have is some chai. Obviously, there's no coffee here in Pakistan. It's all about that tea. Mmm, love this style. Mmm, cardamom, right? The cardamom here. Nice and milky, frothy. Always the same, guys. Sometimes it changes. If you have green tea, it'll be plain, you know? But sometimes they add some milk to green tea, which is a little different, right? It tastes more like this, but straight green. I like this, though. Mm, almost like cafe con leche. And always piping hot. If your chai is too hot, the trick is pour it into the plate. Mm -hmm. Nice and cool. All right, guys, that was breakfast. Let's go to Mardan. Shukriya, shukriya. Welcome, welcome. Everything was delicious. The lassi, the chana, parata, big belly now. <laughs> and we're outside, we have them doing the tandoor. Look at that. Beautiful. The naan. Oh man, they don't stop, huh? Oh, the naan. We got naan, we have chai, we have them doing all the different food. This place is awesome. All right, guys, let's go to Mardan. So now uh, we are going to Mardan. It takes 30 minutes. So this is the main great trunk road. This road is connected to Lahore and also Peshawar. This is the main road. It's the GT road. So it takes 30 minutes to 30 to 40 minutes from here to Mardan. And here we're going to see lots of different small towns. Basically markets everywhere, bazaars everywhere. Uh, small restaurants slash hotels. If you guys don't know in Pakistan, restaurants, they call them hotels. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna see a lot of this, uh, a lot of markets, right? And we'll be there soon, 30 minutes, it's quick. Yeah. All right, my friends, we're stopping here to see a livestock market. You can see, they have a truck full of sheep and goats. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this guy's so funny. He's going in. I think he's gonna pull one out, right? Yeah, he's gonna pull. Oh, Shukriya. Okay, so over here we have the merchants and the buyers. So all these trucks are full of goats and sheep, right? That's all it is. Different villages from this area and from the Peshawar and side of uh, the other uh, travel agencies are also from the Sawat. This livestock market is very simple, right? It's just an area full of lamb, goats, and sheep. That's it. Merchants, you know, the clients come in and they purchase. They usually come in these small vehicles, right? Where they have a big setting in the back, like a big trunk. You know, some of them have a second level so you can add more sheep and lamb on top. And they're all fighting. All, all the sheep and goats are fighting each other here. I like this one. This is really, really pretty. Some of them are, you know, brown, some are white, some are spotted. This is incredible. This is the real life, you know? This is real. This you never see anywhere. In Europe, you don't see this anywhere. It doesn't exist anymore. Incredible, and everybody's so friendly. They're like, come, 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 check this out. I'm like, whoa, what's happening here? Wow, so many, look over here, how many? Oh man, it is massive. I didn't see how big it was. Look at that. Incredible. Okay, guys, that's basically it. <laughs> Livestock market with two different animals. All right, let's go back to the car. Let's go to Mardan. What an awesome market, man. Incredible. Yeah. It's real life, right? It's raw. Woo. It's busy. Busy, busy. We have just crossed the river. It's called Kabul River. It's coming from the Afghanistan and going to the down South Pakistan. And now we've entered the district of Mardan. Lots of traffic here. Lots of commercial vendors, people coming out. Tuk-tuks, motorcycles, cars, trucks. Yes. What is this? Uh, this is called uh, the Kitab Chok. This the is called Kitab Chok. 
is here. It's a round about. This is just uh, a joke here. It's called Kitab Joke. And now we're going to the main market of uh, Mardan, the main street. So once you see this, you made it to the city, right? Yeah. This is like the beginning of the city. And this is it, Mardan. We're gonna walk through the main street, go around the bazaar, see what we find. Hopefully, some snacks. I'm sure, there's a lot of street food vendors everywhere. And yeah, yeah maybe, maybe I buy another one of these, right? White color. White color, white color, yeah, for sure. Like uh, Peshawari chapel is a type of shoes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Mardan chapel. And also we'll taste some oh. type of fruit chart and channa chart as well. And the hibale. So we're going to cross the street because there's a bunch of vendors over here. Got sugarcane, karai, everything. My hey friend, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Sugarcane, the best. Yeah. I love this. Sugaria, sugaria. Refreshing. That was like two seconds. <laughs> so good. Oh, amazing. Wow. I feel great. This is all chicken tikka shops. Literally right here on the street. Hey, I thought they come. People are so friendly. Can I? Can I? Delicious. So the chicken is hanging. Obviously, butchers here in the area. They clean the chicken. They cut it up, chop it up, and they make some karai. You can also have it, you know, chicken tikka on a skewer, right? Or you can do it like this. Mm, look at that. Oil. You gotta be careful, the oil pops. Wow, this is incredible. Everything right here on this trip. Everybody's too friendly. This is the best. Oh, wow. Woo. Okay, so we walked up to a shop that has biryani. I haven't tried biryani in the north yet. No, yes. So there's nothing in it, right? In terms of meat, it's just two different rices and spices. Mm. Minty, herbal. Mm -hmm. So it's just the rice, and then you add the chicken if you want, right? So now you have to change the taste, because now we are coming down to the South Pakistan. I love all these rice dishes, man. Biryani, pulao, you mean all day, man. So good. So here we have a few vendors selling walnuts, almonds. It's a Malbury. The Malbury. The Malbury. Okay. And this one? This is Chenna. This is Chenna. There's a different type of chickpea. I've never seen one this tiny. It's because you know it's uh, boiled and then they fry. Okay. And over here we have some more Chenna. Yes. Some chana, chana some oh, beans, some mosa. Yes, yes. Looks good. Very nice, but. You think? No, I'm okay, I'm okay right now. Okay. We eat so much today. Okay. And later we eat some, uh, what are we gonna eat, some kebabs. And right behind this vendor, we have a Faluda house. Faluda, fresh juice, let's have some. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing, my friend? Everything good? And this is the Faluda Mardan style. Usually Faluda is in a glass, right? With jellies, yeah. yogurt, I mean, big mix of things. So what's this one? Yeah, this is a little bit different. This is the specialty of Mardan. It's also mixed with cheese, malai, and the goya. The goya? Yeah, the goya. So this is a vegetable? It's like the simple, but it's so tasty. The ice cream. It's, 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 it's a, yeah, it's, it's okay, ice cream. So it's like kulfi. Mm -hmm. You have malaya on top. Yeah, yeah, you can say it's a kulfi. It's like a kulfi. Yeah, it's straight up ice cream. But it's chopped up in a way that it looks like like some type of vegetable. You know? Some type of yeah, pineapple like something. Mm -hmm. like this. Mm. Kulfi, yes. Oh! Oh! Brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. And under it, is there anything under it? Oh yeah, so under it we have this, like the jellies, right? Like noodle jellies? Like, yeah, noodle jellies, yes. Mm. Oh wow, I love it. It's extremely cold. It's a super chill, icy faluda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's extra, the jelly. So here are the jellies. Yeah. I love this. This, this, this. So good. Mm -hmm. It's so not too sweet. It's more the milk that it's in, right? Yeah, it's a milk. With Pashtun language is called manchur. It's the same like a noodle they boil with the uh, milk. Nice refreshing snack and a super hot day. Oh. Oh. 
Hard to chew through. It's so cold. <laughs> One last bite. Get some of the noodles. Some of that super cold kurfi. You must try this dish when you come to Mardan. Let's go. Shukriya. Shukriya. Delicious. Another dish we don't pay for. Thanks guys. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you, thank you. So here we have another one of these, right? What are they called? What do you call this? Is this scarf? Uh, this, this is called scarf. This is scarf, right? Yeah, this scarf. So I have it in this color, but I think white would look better with the blue, right? Yeah, so it's making it. So, how much for this one? Doso. Doso. We're negotiating, we're negotiating. I love it. Looks great. No, it matches perfect. Green, white, and blue. Perfect. All right. <laughs> it's 150. We negotiated from 200 to 150. Shukriya, shukriya. As we keep walking, there's more Fuluto shops. Just three, four, five, back to back to back. Here's another one. Always like this, right? They use these beautiful little bowls. Nice. All right, so then we're gonna look for the shoes now. You know, traditional shoes from the area. We're gonna get in Peshawar, but he said here they're actually more special. The next part of the market is fabrics and bedding. bedding. Like 20, 30 vendors in a row, just like this, right? So you come here, you can buy some clothing, right? And also stuff for your bed. Hello, my friend, how are you? How are you? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. This part of the market is the livestock, right? So we got chickens. You come here, you buy a chicken, they'll cut it for you, you know, the butchers. And over here is like the legs, the feet, the chest, organs, gizzard, everything, everything. So down this street in the market, it's butcher shops and fabric shops. It's a fabric shop. That's it. So you see a lot of women walking around, obviously. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it that's for it. Long yeah, it's the same thing over and over though, right? Yeah, that's right. It's mostly fabrics and clothes like this. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the main street and then we're gonna look for the, the sandals, right? The sandals. Sandals. Okay, we just go there and just the left side there's a lot of shop of Pishauri Chapel. Before we get to the sandal shops over here to the left, this is the electronic shops. So it's like two levels, just a long alley, United Mobile, so all electronics. You know, computers, telephones, and chargers. Charger, headphone, chargers, batteries. These guys are on the motorcycle right on the sidewalk. They almost ran into me. <laughs> they are beyond friendly. They all welcome you. You want some tea? I've had like four cups. I can't have another tea. My stomach's feeling a little upset. And I need to eat some kebab, so gotta chill with the food, right? That's one thing I gotta say though. When you're eating this much, slow it down, take mini breaks, and don't eat too much. Like, just some bites and keep going. That's it. Shop beside you. Peshawari Chapal. So beautiful sandals. This is the style, right? Always like this. They're really nice, I like them. So all leather, right? All leather. So you got some blue, black, brown, different colors. Okay, my friends, I wanna try some. I wanna want buy one. Traditional though, I want traditional. What color do you like? I mean, brown's cool, blue's nice as well, but blue might be a little blue different. Blue's cool? Blue's cool. Okay, let's go with blue, let's see. Let's yeah. try some. Yeah. This one is, I like this one. The finishing and the color, the sole, each and everything is like awesome. Yeah, I love it, I love it. So the size, I guess they probably have other sizes, right? Uh, what's your number? Oh, I like it. Smells yeah. brand new. <laughs> and this is leather, 100%. 100%. Okay, perfect. Wow, really cool design, right? And the bottom, I've seen it. This is not tire, right? It's this totally handmade. Handmade. Yeah. No machine, nothing. So that was a 10, so I think I need a 12. 12. Oh, beautiful, man. I love the styles. Yeah, I think this is the perfect size. Let me just buckle it in. I love these sandals. Man, they fit great. Look at that, beautiful. Super clean, love this design. Look at that. So all handmade, right? All handmade. Okay, how much? How much? Free. Shukriya. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you. I love them. Right here, right? Beautiful. You don't want one? No, it's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're too nice. So it was 2,000, he gave us a discount, so 1,800. Yeah, 200, you get 200 discount. discount. And we're gonna cross and get some tea right here, some chai. Assalamu alaikum. 
No, it's too much. <laughs> Once they saw that I was here, everybody was calling me into their shops. They wanted me to see all the different shops, all the different shoes. I went to like three more. I mean, really cool. Not They don't just have it just the way I bought it. They have it with two different designs, extra layers, extra fabric as well. Really nice stuff. I highly recommend coming to this strip. Go in one of those shops, obviously, go to the Imperial Collection where I bought. But you can go to the ones in front too and see what else they got. So many different varieties, but always the same. Peshawari, Peshawari, Peshawari Chapal. Chapal. Peshawari Chapal, which means shoes, right? Shoes. Okay, so now kebab? Now, now got the kebab. Oh, I'm hungry now. Now I'm starving. No, okay. <laughs> the Faluda filled me up for like a little bit. <laughs> The kebab shop is at the end of the same street we're on, but it's at the very, very end. So instead of walking, wasting another 20 minutes, we're getting in the car and we're gonna be there in one second. Guys, unfortunately, uh, the kebab place is closed today because it is Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday here in Pakistan, you cannot find beef or mud in. You know, most of the cities you can still find it, but here especially because they're a little more stricter, the police will close down the shops, so they don't even open the shops. We forgot it was Wednesday, and uh, yeah, that's unfortunate for us, but we're gonna find something to eat on the way to the Buddha Monastery right now. Uh, let's see what we find, right? Yeah. We're like five minutes away from the monastery and we stopped here at PK Hotel and Restaurant to have some chicken tikka kebabs. Maybe even some karai. Yeah, but right there I see it. Kebabs on the grill. So okay. PK is your restaurant? Yeah, PK is my restaurant. And what are we going to eat today? Uh, inshallah, we will eat today sikh kebab. This is called sikh kebab. It's chicken sikh kebab. Chicken sikh kebab, sir. And you also have pulao? Uh, also pulao, Afghani pulao. Uh, very special Afghani pulao. Okay, so right here, they're grilling the sea kebabs, chicken sea kebabs. They look so good, so delicious. We're gonna go and see how they make the Afghani pulao. Yes, it's the best, so good. This is called uh, Kabuli pulao. <laughs> Kabuli pulao. I'm super excited to eat this food at PK. Look at this, so we have the pulao, the chicken sea kebab, chicken karai, and some naan, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we start? Yes. Which one, just okay. sikh? Uh, yeah, from Sikh. Always a Sikh. Yeah. I love Sikh kebab. Lots of spices here. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm hmm. Oh man, so it's minced chicken, right? Mmm. <laughs> oh. So tasty. I love the karai. So the karai is basically like a tomato curry, right? Tomato curry and um, also it's uh, mixed some a little bit of cream as well. Okay. And everybody came in here to watch the <laughs> I love the garnishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give it a sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. And what you should do is get in here and break up all the meat, right? So this is how you do it, right? Always break it up with the hands, break up the flesh, and I actually love adding the raita like that. Woo! A little too much there, but mix it in. Right? Wow. Oh yeah, make it super creamy, super creamy. And also you can cut in small pieces and mix with them. Oh yeah? Yeah, and also chicken. That will be. So you get a mix of everything? Even the, the tomato? And I'll cry. Yeah? Mm. 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 Crazy flavor here. So you can also use the naan to grab. Yeah. In here, right? Just grab everything. Mm. And I love that how mild it is. It's like no spices here. No, not the it's just spices. pure. They like pure everything, right? They only add a little bit they of salt. Eat, uh, like, and uh, red chili, like something there. Mm -hmm. A little bit there, adding. Mm -hmm. So not that much. It's it's not. You cannot say it's uh, full of spicy. And it's a little bit, a little bit spicy. So be aware there are bones. Got to around it, right? Well, I love this pulao. So the best thing to do is just mix this all in like this, break it up. Yeah. Then mix it this in. is the best way to do it. So just move the, the bones, mix it in, mix some of that in right there. So you basically blend all the different flavors. Tomato, curry, the chicken, I love the garnishes. So you have carrots, you have some raisins in here, and we have the raita. 
Mardan food. Mardan food. Oh man, you see kebabs? I've never mixed see kebab with, with rice. First time. Oh. I love it. So tasty. Mm -hmm. Even though we're not eating meat, it's still really hearty, filling plate. Mm. So what do you think of my, my eating skills? Excellent, right? Wow. It's typical Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Just a little more. I love it. This is incredible. When you come to Mardan, you have to come to PK Hotel and Restaurant and eat his pulao, his chicken si kebabs. And chicken. wow, that caray, man. <laughs> Thank, that you so Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you Incredible. Hey, my man. Thank, Thank you so, so much for your coming, you. sir. Thank I'll you so come much. back, inshallah. I'll come inshallah. back. Very inshallah. soon, inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you. much. So, guys, everything good? Five minutes drive from the restaurant is Takt e Bai, right? Ancient Buddhist monastery. Getting in here is a big market, and you go in the back roads, and then right here by the hills is the monastery. To get into the monastery it costs 500 rupees for foreigners, an extra 300 rupees if you bring in a camera. And this is it the Buddhist remains of the monastic complex of Tat e Bai dating back over 3,000 years old and it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the year 1980. Let's go up to the top. It's a bit of a hike. And remember guys, bring your visa and your passport. They ask you for it right when you enter. A little bit of a hike to get to the top, but it's definitely worth it. Look at this, incredible spot. Looks like a huge fort. It's look like you can say fort. Looks like it, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful stone structure. And the entire area is full of Structures like this, the only thing is that they excavated only a like a fraction oh, of it, right? Wow, look at that. So was that like housing? I'm guessing that was more like housing <laughs> up there, big area. The very top, you have some views, hills. Wow, so it's one, two, three, four, five different spots. So by through the UNESCO, they are excavating. So slowly. Yeah, slowly. So if for five, after five to 10 years, so you'll see more like, build, like this type of buildings here. This first room we're in is like the stupa area, right? Stupa area, you can see. So small stupas, and then in the center we have a massive stupa. And obviously, it's missing the actual top. Only that on there, you know, it's uh, for seven steps. So uh, so now we can see here only two or three steps left. Yeah, beautiful. Three thousand years old. Yes. Incredible. Uh, here's a meditation cell. So here's a small room inside. They go inside and they just meditate and come out for us in this area. And luckily we're here in March because if you come here in like June to August, it'll be extremely hot. I've been to so many ancient ruins during those times, like during the summer months. Don't recommend it. Come spring, fall. It's the best time. Whew, we're at the top now to get a beautiful view over the entire monastery. Whew, be in shape steep hike so we made it to the top and check out this view incredible massive monastery complex in front of us what we just walked through huge like 20 to 30 foot or let's say 10 to 15 meter uh, walls right no roofs because the roofs were wood so that's all gone but at least the structure is still here you know it, this is a big place because if you see the right you see more houses over there to the left more over there as well so you can explore the whole thing if you want to i think it'll take you roughly two plus hours if you wanted to go around everything get photos uh but for us you know we're gonna go to the main sections so i think that's it right like yeah, the main right. hall the stupa hall and the monastery over there behind it, right? That's the, and also the uh, meditation. The meditation. So what we're gonna do next is go straight to the monastery, that side. Okay. A little more to the left, you can see how massive this place is. And this is only 25%, only 25% of the entire complex has been excavated. You can see different buildings, the side of the wall. It's like a mini city, right? Here, this is like, uh, you know, serving quarters slash monk quarters. It's a big mix. It looks huge though. I haven't been to one like this where you see the structure and the beautiful hills around it. This is so different. It's incredible. It feels like a desert right now though. It's really hot. That's how it always is with ancient ruins. Stones and heat, hot. This is uh, like a classroom, ancient classroom, and they were sharing here Buddhism. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Wow. This is just incredible. I love going to ancient sites like this. All right, can't believe it stood the test of time, huh? 3,000 years? 
My friends, how you doing? Assalamu alaikum. What's up, guys? Everything good? Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> the last thing we have to visit here is the monastery, right in front of where the stupas are. So that's basically an empty hall, right? There's 15 monk cells here. Monk cells, yes. That's it. It's just, it's just walls. I mean, in the monastery, there's like small rooms, right? And then in the middle, emptiness. And that's it, my friends. We explored everything you could do from Peshawar to Mardan and everything in Mardan. We started off with some delicious breakfast, chana, parata, lassi, phenomenal. Then we went all the way to Mardan and we stopped at a livestock market. Wow, what an experience. Then Mardan, walking through the bazaar, trying the lassi, delicious, super sweet, very sweet. Wow, yeah, that, that lassi was awesome. Then the market, you know, we saw uh, livestock, we saw vendors, so many different like foods, you know, so many things happening at one time. It's a huge bazaar. We also got the Peshawari chapal. 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 And also you got this one. Oh, I got this one as well. I got this. <laughs> and then from there, we drove to this monastery. On the way, we stopped at PK and had some incredible chicken sea kebabs, some parata. Kabuli Palau. Kabuli Palau and? Kabuli Palau and the chicken karai as well. And the chicken karai. For me, the chicken karai is blowing my mind. I mean, the karai is the best thing in Pakistan. It is it too tasty. good. It's so tasty. No spices, just tomato based curry. curry. Phenomenal. Wow. And this monastery is a must. You have to visit. When you come over here to Mardan, it is 3,000 years old. It's a huge complex. Take your time if you want. We did it in roughly under one hour. We saw just the main parts of the structure. You know, everything's very similar, but you know, just more rooms. More rooms, more views. Yeah. That's, that's it. Right. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Mardan. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. A big thanks to my friends at Manaki for bringing me to Pakistan. All right, let's go to the capital.